Hi, JNM here with the next Blender 2.8 sculpting video and an update from our free add on Fast Sculpt. Here we have a sample project, and I don't know what this character is or what it is going to be in the end. It doesn't have a human anatomy, perhaps it will be a kind of insect in the end, <laughs> I don't know yet. But anyway, I created some arms and a hand, and I want to connect the hand to a wrist of an arm where it should be. And usually you move around the model or you snap it, then rotate and scale it. Then you add a mirror modifier and all this stuff, it's a bit tedious. And I want to show you now how to do this with Fast Sculpt. So I press N and open the Fast Sculpt panel. And in the Add Objects panel, I select Scene. Because we want to add again an object that is already in the scene and I select the hand. I want to align it to a face of the wrist and I also want to add a mirror for the x-axis. Because we want to add two hands to this symmetrical object. Okay, then I choose Add Object Mode, press Ctrl and click onto this face here, onto this surface and bam, two hands are inserted and they are aligned perpendicular to the face that I hit with the mouse cursor. And this saves so much time and have a look at this what I added as well when I change to edit mode. You can see that the cursor, the 3D cursor is set to the point that we clicked. And this gives us the possibility in edit mode to select the whole mesh and rotate, scale or move it while the mirror modifier is still active. To do this be sure to have the transform pivot point set to 3D cursor here in the toolbar. I press the R key to rotate and G to move the object till it fits the wrist of the arm. Okay, and once you're happy with the transform of the mesh, you can go to sculpt or object mode and apply the mirror modifier. And now we can go ahead in sculpt mode with the grab brush selected and X symmetry enabled and adjust the hands as I like. Or I go to object mode, select the arm, then to sculpt mode again and use the grab brush to adjust it to the hand. And then back to object mode, select both objects and press Ctrl and J to join them. And then I remesh the objects now using the voxel remesher. It is basically like a bool union, but with a specified voxel size. Here you can see I also added the options fix poles and preserve volume to the remesh objects panel. After that, I set the voxel size to a value of 0.006, which is quite high, and then I remesh. And then we have one union mesh that we can sculpt with in sculpt mode. Again, I enable X symmetry and smooth out these parts, and then it looks like as if it had been sculpted in one piece. So these are the updates for Fast Sculpt. The link to this free add-on can be found in the description. New features will come soon, and if you have any feature wishes or questions, then add these to the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on my social media on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter, and if you like to support the development of this add-on, then consider being my patron. Thanks for this and see you soon on JNM.